Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today, a uh, second episode about how to create a mobile menu in ActuRP. And in the first episode, we talked about how to create and animate the hamburger icon menu. And today I'm going to show you how to really create the menu and we do also some uh, cool animations on the menu. And if you're interested, as usual, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like a comment, and that's it, let's get started. And here we are inside Axure as usual, so, this is the prototype of last week. Today I'm going to uh, create the, um, the menu that will show on click on this icon. But first, 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 I want to do some fancy stuff inside the page. So I'm going to add some, uh, some elements like, uh, you know, something cool. Like, you know, this visual uh, minimalism is the keyword. Keyword, of course, it's in black on black, okay. And I'm going to change the like, so it's necessary to the like, and I go to the physics here. And I'll switch, I'll switch, yes, okay. And the keyword, we put in the protocol, yes, not like whatever it is, and it's also, yes, correct. So now we're going to add also another panel with a fancy uh, interior design of whatever image I define as a special image, I will let it. So uh, inside the panel, I go on fill and put an image inside the image, and the image is that's clean. And of course, it should not be a uh, stretch over so that everything is right, we're going to inside the space, right? Now I'm going to uh, create the uh, menu. What, how to do that? Really simple. I'm going to drag and drop again one dynamic panel. I uh, change the field color again with dark gray. And inside this, I'm going to put my labels. I drop inside some heading H1. I change the style with PT serif. I want it white. And, and let's see. Mm, I can say that. Uh, I have a left padding of 40 pixel and maybe 36 here. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's okay. And this is the first item. And we have home. We could have to have uh, something like uh, products, products, and after we can have gallery, for example. And after we can have about us, about us, and maybe, maybe we can have also a uh, contact, contact. Okay, so let's take all of them. Uh, let's just uh, align vertically and everything on the left. So now we have to name them properly so that it will be easier after to you know, created this animation. So let's uh, double click on uh, on one widget, uh, copy and paste it here. Same thing for everything. Voila, gallery, voila, about us, voila, contact, voila. And here we are. Now, now this I rename it as menu. And I'm going to do the animation. This animation will be linked to uh, an interaction that is on shown. So when this menu will show, then we will do this, this fancy animation that I, I'm going to do. So new interaction is shown here. And we have to show hide home. We have to show it. We have an animation fade, simple fade, of 300 milliseconds. More option here, no, I don't need anything. Yeah, it's okay. Now we are going to do the same for all of them, adding 150 millisecond for each. What does it mean? So I add a new target, I select the product, and I say fade 450. And after we do the same for the, sec the third one, show fade 600 and this show 750 and again the last one fade with 900 that's it 
this is our animation so that basically one will show after the other with the 150 millisecond of delay but before everything i'm going to do a wait wait something like 200 millisecond first okay now what we have to do is of course to hide everything we take all the all, all the um, all the widgets we go on style we hide them and of course also the menu should be hidden what is now the uh, actual uh, action that we have to do really simple we select the hamburger menu we go into on interaction and on click when it's closed we add an action that is show hide what we have to show it's the menu right my menu show animate is slide down slide down with an animation of for example 320 uh, millisecond is out cubic and bring to front yeah that's not not really necessary but we do it and let's see how it, look, it looks like so we go on preview Hmm. Okay, so we have the page. We click. Phew. You see this fancy, nice animation that that we saw. It's it's really cool. So what we can do now it's uh, the reverse because of course if I, if I click now again it doesn't 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 do anything, right? So what we can do is going back to action and on open. We have to copy paste the same, okay, voila. And instead of shown, we have to hide it, right? With, uh, I would say this time uh, 500 milliseconds, okay? But, but remember, we have first to uh, hide again all the, the menu item because otherwise what happens is that uh, the second time that I open it, the, uh, the, the widget are still there. So we go back in the menu and uh, we copy this. So the show hide and we paste it on a new interaction that is on hidden. We paste it, that's it. The thing is that we have to just change the, the shown with hide. So let's just change it, change it, everything. Okay, okay. Okay, oops, this, I missed it. Done and done. So actually we, we can do the reverse again in the sense that the first that uh, will be hidden uh, will be the, the last one. So contact about us, gallery product uh, home. So yeah, we can do it, why not? I mean this, uh, so it will be 900. This will be uh, 750. Uh, this would be 600 of course, this will be 450 and this will be 300. In any case, most of them we, we are not going to see it because the, the, um, the, the hiding of the entire menu will be faster than most of them, right? So, but in any case, it's important that we have to hide it because otherwise they will be still there when we click the second time. So. Let's see in preview how it looks like. On click, phew, animation, and on click again, it disappears, it disappears. But if I click again, phew, I have again the animation. You see? Really, really simple. And also this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from me. And so as usual, Subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like, a comment, and see you in the next video. Bye!